Hello everyone. This will be a very short video about the new Feng Shui diagram added into the new update, the Tianyuan update,、uh, which happened just recently, a few days ago, I think. And so after this update, when you defeat some boss, I think mythical boss, it can be any world boss or could be any boss in a dungeon as well. And I think also it is available in the auctions. You can get this Feng Shui diagram, and you. For example, this is an item like this, and you need a certain feng shui stat, as you can see here, recommended feng shui stats, in order to、um, use this diagram. Let me try this. So when you click it, you can click on divination, and it will show you a small part of the map, and you have to find out which region in the big map is corresponding to where this region is. And obviously, this means that it is better if you have basically reviewed most of the map. And unlike me, I have a lot of black points here and there. So sometimes for me, it's very hard to find out. For example, for now, I can't really see where this could be. So after you turn on one function diagram, you cannot turn another. Use another one. This is because every time you open your map, you know. And this function diagram will always be there unless you give up the divination. And I think I sort of know where it is. This, if I'm not wrong, this region is just near the Demon's Arena, in the in around here, because this mountain shape and here looks exactly like this. But I will just go to Wuxi Tang and come to this region, and let's see how it goes. So where am I? Wuxi Tang, and say it again. It's just on the foot of this mountain. It's almost just exactly at here, right? I don't think you need to be super accurate because your geo does have a, a region. So I do a geo here, and I found four on Euro place. So. The four place I guess are this, 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 and this thing. So I think there are several outcomes you can find out. For example, this one is a tomb, but I believe there are other things like just a simple treasure and stuff. Let's see what's happening with this tomb, and I will save first. Yeah, sure. I will see what is inside. Why aura drift around? Don't be careful. And I think it is an enemy. I decide to pay respect to dig the grave. I can pay respect. Be a nice human. And yeah, pretty good. I get a charm, ancient runes, teleportation charm. Let me try to use the ancient rune teleportation charm here. So if I use it, yes, I can basically. Uh, in white, any NPCs were at the point where I am. So you have to first find NPC first. Let's say, what about you? Do you want to come with adventure with me? All right, and we can go for adventure together. It is nice. So how difficult it is? Looks not too bad. I mean, I invited、uh, enlightenment, like、uh, enli enlightenment level realm NPC, and I did. I feel the the difficulty of this battle seem to be around the same realm. The thing is, I am also enlightenment, so it could be based on my realm, or, or could be based on her realm. And I cannot be sure, but I. I do like this idea that you can invite NPCs. And here we go. The final is two mythic beasts. I don't think this is good because the NPC doesn't really do much to do much damage that I already knew. And the worst part is my aim is the same as one of these big monsters, which means I don't know. The skill is coming from who, and this can be very deadly. I'm trying to deal with the Koto first.
and Amethyst is dead. Wow. Mushen number one. Mushen number one. Water cultivator, you really disappointed me. What? You are back? What is this? What? Is it simply because I'm almost finished the battle, now you are back? What? What? What is this behavior? No, 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 no. <sighs> don't get hit by this. And you also don't get hit. You are going to die if you keep on getting hit by like this. Not too bad, not too bad. Many, I did it. The job. Now if we press this... Wow! That's interesting. Are you sure you want to do this? It won't end up good for you. What about the half heart of relationship between us? Well, you're a wicked. Hmm. Guess that's it. Sorry. I think you deserve to die. Seriously, I really don't think you can deal with me. Mm. Alright. Escaped. And what do we get? <laughs> oh well. I guess it depends on your relationship between you and your NPC, but yeah, this does give you an option to have fun with NPCs and it doesn't really cost any time compared to the other event where the NPC look for you and asking you for adventure which will always happen when you press the button to pass a month and therefore if you die there you cannot you save or load an earlier save until you actually dig into the folders so I do like this function it is not that bad so this time I will choose to dig the grave and this doesn't look too good. Come on. And as a difference, I get different talisman. So I want to test how does this necromancer's talisman work. So I will tr probably try to use it in a battle here. Let's see. I haven't really used it in my life. And let's use number three. Oh, seriously? That's it? That looks like a really big turn down. It's just a little skeleton. Oh, come on. And yeah, it's not that powerful at all. So that's disappointing. Well, I do have another Feng Shui diagram which have much higher recommended Feng Shui stats. And so the recommended time is 680 and I have 337. I wonder what will happen in this divination. And turns out it still works. So what is the point of having this Feng Shui requirement then? I'm a bit confused about that. And this looks just around here. So I will just go there and try to try it again. So the main reason I want to show this to, to show you how to solve the Feng Shui mini game rather than but turned out was digging a, a grave last time. So I hope this time will be different. All right this is, is about the location I believe and let's try to do a geo again this time. Oh 10 and euro place. I assume this is the place because this looks more like a treasure. And, okay, great, great. Now I need to break the trick. So this is the Feng Shui minigame and the main reason I want to do this. So you have to align all the same Chinese characters. Like, even if you don't really understand what they mean. So basically they mean different elements, but at least you can see the shape. And you need to try to see what are this each of them do. And you will find the one which only plus one, only have, sorry, only have when you click it, it rotates only one of them instead of everywhere else, it's two of them. You keep the one of them one the last, and that's how it is. Now, I believe that if you have a higher function stat, you will have a bonus moves. In my case, 
probably because my function size is not that high. So it's not that much. So I need to change this one first, right? So this one can only, the outer ring can only be changed by clicking on it. So I need to click quite as many times, actually. <coughs> but as, I'm um, sorry, but as I'm clicking it, this wing also moved. And this, you cannot avoid this because you try, you want to keep this one to be here. And now it's back, so we have to deal with this. Now, this one I need to click once, twice, three times. And now I just need to click this one more time in order to finish this. And this is basically the maximum number you can. And if you know how to play this game, it is not too, not too difficult. And as a result, I get some elixir, which is nice. Mm. And also some feng shui textbook. Last time I did this, I also get a recipe of one talisman, which by the way, the talisman bug in the English version was fixed, so it's great. And uh, I think that will conclude this video. This, I know this video is quite short, but I just want to show you some some new things, including the updates, like this whole new Feng Shui minigame, which I know a lot of you won't like it that much, because it's kind of a waste of time. And it's getting boring once you have played it one or two times. But uh, as you can see, you have this new, idea, new way to invite NPCs to fight together. You have some other talismans, which one of them is quite disappointing, the one summons. And I haven't tried out the other talisman I have learned. One, so this one I get it from the first talisman quest. I believe this one is from the second talisman quest. Oh, sorry, this one, spiritual shield. It's from second talisman quest, which by the way, you get it by passing a few months and then you in the main city of Huafeng region, again in the tavern, you will get a new quest to get this spiritual shield one. And this one I get a recipe from one of the Feng Shui adventures and I got a recipe of the Sky Prayer Talisman. Again, I don't really know how um, what's the effect of this one and I will let, let left for you to you guys to find it out by yourself. And I'm really sorry that recently I've been quite busy with my real life work and you can see my this character is the one I have been showing in my playthrough and looking at this you probably knew that I am in the face of basically staying at the Jade Blossom Shrine and start while giving the shrine some books so that I can get skill fruits at the same time learning upgrading some of my skills. I have already got enlightenment, martial and special skill. I will probably keep the golden core motion skill and ultimate because I really just need fairy flames and I am kind of lack of energy so the less realm with the, will cost me less energy so I will be happy with that but I still need a lot of effort to upgrade my mind skills. I have uh, the good one for, I mean I have okay one for attack. I haven't really get anything else and I am currently trying to upgrade the mind skill for defense. So this will take a lot of time and my next video of the playthrough will probably covering up some quest in the Mushin region as well as how to break through to reborn. So that will take some time and with my current schedule it will take a, some days to finish it. So I apologize for the delay and anyways, thank you for watching my video and I will see you next time.